Hi guys, today we're just going to review and recap compound interest. This is a topic applicable to both foundation and higher, although the more complicated questions apply to higher only. All you need to know for compound interest is the compound interest formula. The future value of the money is going to equal the principal times 1 plus um, R over 100 to the power t. Now what these things are is F is the future value. What, uh, the money that you invest at compound interest will be worth in the future. The principal is how much money you put in now. R is the interest rate to the percentage rate and t is the number of periods. So classic question, what's going to be the future value of £3,000, so that's my principal, £3,000 at a rate of 3.5% over 4 years. Well, all I have to do is plug in all these different values into my formula. So the future value is going to be the principal, 3000 so that's how much money I'm putting into the bank now, multiplied by 1 plus interest rate has to be as a decimal so if the interest rate is 3.5 percent it has to be 0 0.035 you need to be careful with that to the power 4 because it is 4 years so then all you have to do is get your calculator You have to do 1.035 to the power 4 uh, times 3000 and that is your answer. So you work out your calculator and we do 1.035 uh, to the power 4 times 3000 and the answer is the future value is 3442.5. Five seven uh, round to two decimals always because we are dealing with money and that is it that's the most basic question now sometimes uh, in the exam uh, you may see questions that deal with depreciation anything to do with depreciation that's when something loses value over time the question won't say so, but you need to think straight away that depreciation means compound interest. Um, and because something is losing value, all you have to do with the formula is change the plus to a minus to indicate that things are losing value and therefore in the future they are going to be worth less. Now, this is only perhaps applicable to higher. So I'm just going to do one example uh, and leave it here. A question may ask, what's going to be the future value of £2,000 at a rate of 7% per annum um, after three years but then you need to be careful because this may say something like interest is paid quarterly. So every quarter of a year, every three months, they pay interest. So that means we need to change things around a little bit. Sometimes the interest may be monthly, sometimes the interest may be semi-annually, so you need to make adjustments. So first of all, when I put my formula, is the compound interest formula, so it's a plus. So the future value is going to be the principal, 2000 times 1 plus. Now, because the interest rate is paid quarterly, this is the interest rate per year. So I need to adjust the 7 divided by 4 because there are four quarters in the year is 1.75 over 100 so 
So I need to change the interest rate from annual to quarter. And then, because it's being paid quarterly, and it's three years, the time period, the frequency of the time period has to match the frequency of the interest. So instead of three years, it's going to be 12 quarters of a year, right? There's four quarters in one year, three years, 12 quarters. So that's my formula. I need to make the adjustment there. So then I just use um, this 1.75 divided by 100 plus 1 is that to the power 12 is that times 2000 and the future value is 2462.5 Eight, eight again to two decimals because we are dealing with money and that is compound interest this is how they could I mean this one way they could tweak the question make it a little bit harder unlikely but maybe they may give you the future value the interest rate and the time period and you're gonna find the principal so you're gonna be able to rearrange this formula maybe perhaps or sometimes they may ask you to find how many years it would take and until you don't get to A level in order to find the years it's going to have to be trial and error you're going to have to be substituting different values in there until you get the equation to, to match both sides but anyway um, these are the main variations on the question hope you found it helpful um, keep working see you later bye